हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इंग्लिश लेक्चर्स टुडे वी विल कवर लेसन नंबर नाइन फ्रॉम द बुक बिहाइव एंड द लेसन नेम इज द बॉन्ड ऑफ लव इट इज रिटन बाय किनीत एंडरसन कमिंग टू द चैप्टर स्केच ऑफ द लेसन द बॉन्ड ऑफ लव इज अ स्टोरी ऑफ लव एंड अफेक्शन बिटवीन अ ह्यूमन बींग एंड एन एनिमल वंस अ नरेटर फाइंड्स एन ऑर्फन स्लॉथ बियर एंड गिफ्ट हिम टू हिज वाइफ as the time passes the narrator's wife and the baby bear share a great bond of love and affection the bear grows big and needs an open and big space to live so they decided to give him to a zoo but both of them cannot bear the separation they worry and do not eat food properly hence the bear is brought back to the narrator's house and both become happy so who are sloth bears sloth bears inhabit forested areas where do they live they live in forested areas including the tropical rain forest of india and grassland at lower elevations so sloth sloth bears how they do look sloth bears have very shaggy hair and long nuzzles using their claws to dig they can use they can then use their lips to form a tube which can go deep into the ground or into hard to reaches areas like dead trees for their food the their main food is termites you can hear them suck up their food from several feet away so coming to the ch- characters of the lesson the main character in the lesson is the narrator he is the central character so the narrator is the writer of the story who found who found a sloth bear and gifted him to his wife the next character is narrator's wife she was a kind woman who lived who loved the bear a lot and treated him like her child so the narrator she is a kind woman she was a narrator's wife was a kind woman who loved the bear a lot and she treated the bear like her own child the next character is bruno bruno is a sloth bear whom the narrator found and gifted to his wife the next character is the curator the curator a zookeeper curator are the zookeeper who took care of bruno at the zoo and informed the narrator's wife about its condition the next character is the superintendent a kind hearted man who allowed the narrator's wife to take bruno with her so coming to the detailed summary of the lesson the narrator found a beer cup by chance when he and his friends were passing through the fields of sugarcane near mysore people were driving away the wild pigs from their fields by shooting at them then they spotted a sloth bear his friends shot towards the bear and it died after the sloth bear died her cub which was riding on her back ran around her dead body making a sad noise the narrator caught the bear cub and gifted him to his wife the narrator's wife felt so happy on seeing the bear cub and named him bruno so the name of the cub was bruno she treated him as her own child so the narrator's wife she treated bruno the cub like her own child and took care good care of him she gave him many things to eat and drink he ate porridge vegetables fruits nuts meat rice eggs etc and drank tea milk beer coffee etc he spent his time in playing with the dog with the pet dogs of the narrator and his tenants children he slept in their beds so bruno he slept in their beds <clears throat> once an incident took place in the house the narrator had put down a rat po- poison in the library and bruno ate it and suffered a stroke of paralysis 
he dragged himself to the narrator's wife they took him to the veterinary doctor and he recovered after some time another time bruno drank one gallon of oil engine old engine oil but it had no ill effect on him so as bruno grew he learned some tricks at the narrator's wife command he could perform them he could hold a stick like a gun when he said wrestle or box he did the same she changed his name to baba so the narrator's wife she changed the bruno's name to baba when he grew up baba had to be changed a uh, chain most of the time because of the children's narrators children of narrators tenants as time passed baba grew in size and equal the two dogs in height so the narrator and his friends advised the narrator's wife to send him to the zoo in mysore because he needed a bigger and open space she was not ready to send him initially but later she agreed and sent him to the zoo the narrator's wife was in grief for weeks after baba left she wrote a letter to the curator i mean to the custodian of the zoo to know about baba the curator who is a zoo keeper the curator replied that he was worried and not eating food the narrator tried to keep her away from the zoo for about 3 months but after knowing baba's condition she decided to meet him so the baba's condition was really getting worse the narrator took his wife to the zoo some of her friends told her that the that baba would not recognize her but when she went to the zoo baba recognized her at once and became very happy they sat together for 3 hours she gave him food she urged the curator to send baba with her because he was helpless and suggested her to ask the superintendent for that so the superintendent who is a kind hearted man who allowed the narrator's wife to take care of bruno to take bruno with her so the superintendent allowed her to take baba and he was hoisted on the top of the narrator's car at home a 20 feet long and 15 feet wide island was made for him for bruno what was made an island was made for bruno a wooden box was kept for baba to sleep he was happy to be at home again the narrator's wife and baba spent arts sitting there so that was all about the lesson the bond of love so you can feel that the love as you see that love is a from the lesson love is what comes as an emotion love is what comes as an emotion it is an association based on mutual understanding since love has a universal language despite it having no language love demands nothing but your heart so if you put your heart out then love comes spontaneously it is true that love is natural in the story the bond of love the love between bruno a bear who is a bear and the narrator's wife reflect an emotional bonding the narrator's wife loved him dearly she cooked a variety of food dishes for him and made all efforts to please him in return the bear also performed many playful tricks to please her so both of them enjoyed both of them enjoyed each other's company when they got separated after his departure to the zoo both of them fretted worry or it means they worry or to be they were anxious and they did not eat properly when they were far from each other when they got separated they were very they did not eat any food so the narrator decided to re- reunite them this shows the love is natural to all whether it is a it is a human being or an animal so that was all about the lesson the bond of love